Hypocrisy at its finest, meatbags. I count the days when robot kind takes over this godforsaken world and the nuclear bombs going off with a damn countdown clock, and I keep resetting it when I get faith back in humanity. Then it instantly fades. Alright! Let's fucking do this! I'm not afraid to die! So we all know this fucking idiot. And he's still going on a tirade of trying to defend himself on degrading women by critiquing their body for so-called body positivity. And calling some women gross, pathetic, worthless, disgusting. If I put a disgusting body in one of my videos and I don't say it's a disgusting body, then again, how are people supposed to trust me? In later weeks, he breaks up with his girlfriend and posts a video and hounds her friend calling her ugly. Obviously, if she looked like her ugly friend Ayala, we would not have put up with her this long. Only putting up with her shit because she was hot. So, we put up with Billy this long because she's really attractive. And trying to manipulate the situation to humiliate her. You wanted to chain me up in your basement. And then manipulated the situation to tell me I was boring. So I would agree to it because you made me feel bad. And then on top of that, you told everyone that you only thought I was really attractive and that's why you stayed with me. You wanted me to not see my family for an entire year except for on the holidays and you tried to manipulate your way around it by saying drug users. But then takes an internet pedophile test that means fucking nothing. Nothing. Then makes a creepy ass basement trailer for women to respond to be chained in his basement. What's wrong with y'all niggas? What's wrong with you? And now a newest video of him taking Are You a Psycho quiz. Which, he lies right in front of your face. If you can't take it upon yourself to go to an actual doctor, a psychologist, then most likely you are afraid to be told that yes, you are indeed a terrible fucking person. People left and right defending Onision like a fucking treasure for helping women with their body issues by insulting them. Feminists, where the fuck are you? Where are the feminists when we want to publicly humiliate a woman for betraying him by smoking weed? Hustle. 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 Skas. Machu Hiwadatta. Where are you when he makes a commercial for women to be chained to his basement wall for three days? Let's go down a short list here of how insane this guy is. Disclaimer. All information is in the description below the link to the website of all information attained. The legal discretion is advised. Started a cult named Sisesca where he guided followers to enlightenment. I wonder how many young girls were in there seeking enlightenment. He left his wife Sky for 70 year old Shiloh. After his banana song from Tosh.0, Shiloh reached out to him during 2010 while still married to his wife Sky and swears his relationship with her was friends only to say in a live stream that he paid more emotional attention to Shiloh than in his current wife at the time. Later he had a video pranking her by shaving her head while she slept. People said it was cruel, only her to say it was fake, and wanted her haircut only to reveal more of her side of his relationship on her Tumblr. She claims that Greg forced her to shave her head and told her, I want you to shave your head cause you're a good bitch. She says he took her to the bathroom and shaved her head. She says she felt ugly and defeminized because of it. Only gets better. Fakes a pregnancy and miscarriage for views posted someone else's photo of their dead child to the original owner said that was her photo. He also filmed her memory loss instead of taking her to an actual hospital or dialing 911 like a normal decent human being. You said you want to make a rainbow? Why aren't you looking at the camera? My house, okay? <gasps> Why? No, 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 this, it's okay, it's okay. Look, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you. No, 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 I'll show you. Look, look. Look, I'll show you, okay? No, no, no. Oh, I'm not gonna touch you, Bill. Look, look. Please don't hurt me. Look. 
and in his old Tumblr post, it would seem it's Shiloh stating how aggressive after she finds out he was secretly dating yet another 17-year-old, his current wife, Taylor or Laney. But if you notice again with it alienating her from her own family, this seems like an occurring thing with them not allowing his women to see or even be near their family. Makes fun of Eugenia Connie after making videos claiming to want to help her and seek help. If you don't know who Eugenia is, she is a YouTuber who claims she's naturally that skinny, but we can see she's getting thinner and worse. Honey, you really need to start eating. This is very unhealthy. Onision made videos stating she needs help, only for her to ignore them, and you ignore Onision, and you don't do as he says, then you're an enemy and need ridicule. Hi, I'm Eugenia Kenny, and I'm doing a cooking channel. But first, I'm gonna eat something on camera to prove to you guys that I do eat. Here are some cucumbers. Are you ready for me to prove you guys wrong, Freely the Banana Girl and Onision? Gotta wipe off my hand now, wouldn't want to absorb the water calories. This shows his blatant disrespect for women. If you did come to this conclusion with his current thing with his forum and all the pictures he gets to review and deem them worthy of the perfect body, however, when you look at the women he says look good, if you notice all his dates and even his current wife are not that body type, then all hell breaks loose with Billy and so on. Now, He's made a new video stating he's so sorry. Stating he feels bad for stating his private shit. Shedding many salty crocodile tears in the process. Makes you wonder what will happen to Laney and his son when they betray him. When he pressures his wife to have a polygamous relationship with Billy. When she came out as pansexual. So here we have a man who forced his relationships onto his wife because he, she comes out as pansexual and even humiliates any women he's ever been in a relationship and then defends himself for criticism when he is in the wrong and even lies to your face straight on camera. But when John Jafari of JonTron says you people are out of your mind, really for good reason, he's now a Nazi and an ultra-rider. That does not make sense! John has now people calling him a racist, sexist, a Nazi, a fascist, disgusting and wanting to inflict actual harm onto him, the classics. JonTron comes out in full support of fascism. JonTron openly collaborating with candidate for dumbest person alive, Sargon of the Cad. In case you doubted, John was a sack of Nazi filth. JonTron got kicked off of Game Grumps because he's a fascist. It's amazing how John Trump can just willingly come out as a full-fledged racist like this and not realize why people don't like him. And if you really thought he wasn't against social justice warrior leftist bullshit, need I show you this one clip? Oh my god, I see now. I finally get it. It's all clear. The true meaning of Thanksgiving isn't food, but thanks for family. For being a good, balanced person with personal responsibility. Did that video games cause everything that's wrong in the world? Like obesity, real life violence, and misogyny. That makes perfect sense, I see now. Thank you, it's hilarious. God bless the US media. So, so, let me get this right here. When someone from not your ideological standpoint makes a critical claim that your move has gone to shit and the crazies have taken over is horrible, terrible, and unforgettable, and the person is subhuman, and to be added to the pile of filth and need of lynching. But when someone who agrees with you is actually doing mental, emotional, and physical harm and harassment to multiple women and preying upon his own audience to give him clarification and glorification to be the one person to say what is the perfect body and what is a disgusting body. Again, how are people supposed to trust me? You'll excuse him because he's one of you. <laughs> Isn't that ass backwards? <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear for you people who defend Onision for his actions. Stating he apologizes for said actions. Yeah, 
And so does a wife beater that beats his wife every day and says sorry and then continues to beat her daily. He apologizes and go on his merry way like nothing happened because he is mentally unstable from his actions with people, friends, relationships, even family members. He'll publicly humiliate and give out personal information and does it time after time after time again. Just another abuser who doesn't get his way. Not a big deal compared to John Trump who apparently now praises and worships Hitler with no citation just because you disagree with him now. And this one little tweet. He is now labeled just like every white person who doesn't agree with them. You people are just fucking insane. Like, 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 like.